welcome to our channel. So for today's video, we will be doing a different commentary reaction video. Uh, sige, magkatagal nang ako. Kasi itong video na to is um, about sa namatay na flight attendant, Christine si Deser. Miss Christine Dasera. So um, condolence to her family and condolence. hopefully um, she may rest in peace. So uh, yung reason kaya kami nagawa ng video na to is because we want to give our side about doon sa mga nagsi-circulate online. And just a disclaimer guys, hindi kami medical professional, hindi kami lawyers, hindi kami uh, any, yes, we're not the MDI nor the police. So what we're just going to provide you guys is our personal take, no, uh, opinion, opinion about doon sa ipapakita namin ngayon. So, but before anything else, if you're new to this channel, you may not consider subscribing down below because subscribing is free. You may also click the notification bell so you'll be updated each time you post it. So, without further ado, let's get into the video. So, sa mga hindi nakakaalam, guys, si si Christine Lacera is a flight or is a Pan Express flight attendant who passed away last January 1, 2021. So, bagong taon ito nangyari. And it was during the time na she was with her friends. I think na day party yung pinuntahan nila nung time na yon. And she was there with her friends. And they had this uh, drinking session. And some point in time, January 1st, 2021. Yes, something ha bad happened to her. Or something unfortunate happened to her. Which, since nung time na yon, sobrang magulo talaga ang lahat. Kasi, imagine, January 1, bagong taon, where lahat-lahat supposedly nagsasaya kasi New Year nga. Everybody, the entire netizen community, the entire Philippines, more so, nagulat sila. Shock. Shock lahat. Uh, Nashock talaga sa balita. Kasi nga, hindi siya, ano eh, hindi siya conventional na pangyayari na in the middle of a celebration, may ganitong trahedya. And a lot of things na nag-circulate sa TikTok kasi even yung mga ganitong news nakakaabot sa TikTok, sa Instagram, basically lahat ng, ano, lahat ng hmm. social media platform. Uh -huh. Social media platform yung mga nag-circulate na information na sinabi sinabi nila na they, they were thinking na Christine was raped siya because of yung mga bruises niya and there's this yung video na na lumabas oh, I think CCTV yun uh -oh, na yun nga may, may mga kasama kasama niya yung mga friends niya and so, sinasabi dito sa nakuha na medical legal na the cause of her death was not rape sleep, but actually it was caused by a ruptured aortic aneurysm. So, again, hindi kami medical professional, but as far as I can understand what aneurysm is, aneurysm is ito yung ang pagputok ng okay. sa katawan ng tao, either sa brain or sa blood vessel. Yung aortic aneurysm kasi is more of sa blood vessel na tao. Nakatakot siya. Nakatakot kami ng ilang articles, medical articles about aneurysm. And they say na it could be hereditary. But since hindi namin kakilala yung family ni Christine Desera, hindi namin sigurado kung it's in their blood. But eh, we should not really victim blame. Kasi for me, regardless kung ano yung support namin, there will be people who will take advantage on and that's the reality talaga. So, wala sa pagsusunod yan. Uh -oh. Not condemning, hindi namin kinukundin na yung mga friends niya. And at the same time, hindi din namin sinasabi na free sila. But, based on dito sa sinasabi sa medical legal, it shows na, na walang kasalanan yung mga friends niya. But, ang sa amin lang, and we want to ask these questions din, na so, for us, really sure, or we're unsure kung ano yung reasons behind na nagtago sila. Nagtago. Yun yung, yun yung gusto kong, yun yung iniisip ko din na kung inosente talaga sila, bakit kailangan nilang magtago? Hindi na dapat ang ayusin nila. Mm -hmm. Kasi hindi natin mga, ano, sa mga nangyari, hindi, hindi natin alam. Uh, so dapat ikaw, mapapaisip ka na din kung bakit ka nagtago. O oh, nandun na tayo, may trauma, may natatako. Pwede ka naman magpasama sa, ano, sa abogado mo. Pero ako, ano, hindi ko sinasabi na criminal sila. No, it's wala, not wala. like that. Wala kami sinasabing ganito. Wala, but, wala, but for us, maraming ways to secure yung safety mo. Pwede kang mag-hire ng personal guards or you can ask the government to have some people na protektahan ka, lalo na if you feel threatened sa buhay mo. I think yun yung reason kung bakit maraming netizens ang nag-conclude at that time nung hindi pa nilalabas itong medical legal na they're really or they did something to Christine. Kasi nga, bakit nga daw nagtakbo? I think yun yung nag-ano sa kanila, parang nag-trigger sa kanila kung bakit ganit-ganon 
uh, ano nila, ideology nila doon sa mga friends ni... Kasi isa, di ba, may lumabas din na, ano? may lumabas din na sinamahan, sinama yata doon sa isang clinic ba? Ewan ko, ano bang... Di na lang sa hospital. Sa hospital, sa hospital. So, hmm. ang nangyari ngayon, ay, yung isa, kasi kuhaan dapat sila ng tawag nito. Sworn state. Oo, parang mga ganun. Oh. Yung isa, umalis. So, uh-huh. doon pa lang, parang, alam mo, alam mo yun, sa, eh, sa akin lang, sa akin hmm. pananaw na. Yes, nandun na tayo na uh, hindi namin kilala sila and we're not in the position to Kasi wala naman tayo doon sa manas. Yes, sa but if you're going to take a look at it, you'll be, you'll be wondering bakit kailangan nilang umalis agad knowing na it's their friend, it's their closest friend. We hindi understand na na-trauma sila and all, but We're just wondering bakit bakit umalis bakit natago sila hindi sila lumutak. Yes. Ah. Uh, parang parang natago yun. Mapapaisip ka, why why, why are you afraid? Ah. Uh, why are you afraid of your life? Ah, uh, if you know to yourself na you're innocent. Kamo dito mo tanda para. At least makatulong ka sa pamilya para mawala na yung mga hakahaka mm. ng mga ano. Yun lang naman ang aking opinion lang. Mm. So linisin na lang nila yung ano uh, pangalan nila. At saka For me, yeah, for me, more than yung trauma na na-experience ng friends ni Christine. Kasi at saka siya pala ito, kawawa ang pamilya ni Christine. Ayun nga, I would like to add on that na more than sa, na- sa trauma ng uh, uh, friends ni Christine. Uh, uh, ang pinakakawawa talaga dito guys is yung parents ni Christine and yung uh, family niya. Uh, Kasi yung friends niya, they're still alive, they're, they're living, they're breathing. Pero si Christine kasi... She's gone. Oh, She's saan, gone hindi forever. Hindi na niya yung sarili niya kasi hindi, hindi naman na si Christine makapagsarita kasi mm. wala siya. So, yun na lang. Hindi na sila lang nila ang pangalan kung ano ba nangyari, ano ba. Mm. And so, ano, ano, wala naman kung if they're, <laughs> if they're afraid to, to say something about it, they can ask their lawyers to help them. Mm. So, again, guys, this is just our personal take opinion. On, and opinion on the matter. We're not condemning anyone sa friends ni Christine nor saying na convicted na sila. Middle lang talaga kami, guys. And we're just stating what we think about sa mga antay na lang ang investigasyon. If you have comments, suggestions, or requests on the next video, you may now leave them in the comments down below. So with that, thank you so much guys and we hope to see you in our next video. Bye! Kung hindi pa nag-subscribe, subscribe na!